Hello. Today is October 23rd. It's a Sunday. I'm about to head to Asheville for a suicide awareness walk. I used to go to these every year, but I haven't been since COVID. So it's been about two years and I absolutely love going to these. It's just a great community event to spread awareness on an extremely important topic. My car is gonna be really loud right now because I'm going down the mountain. So this organization called the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention is who runs these events. I'm just signed up for their emails. So that way I get notifications of when they're holding events. And I also know that October is the month. Whoa. October is a month that they do walks. I don't know if all of the walks are in October. I've been really open about this for ever since I started my social media. Um, so I don't feel uncomfortable talking about this, but I guess I should have said this in the beginning. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with suicide probably towards the end of this video. I'll go more in depth about it. Um, so just like a little trigger warning, if you feel like this topic might trigger you, please just don't watch this video. It's kind of ironic that the walks that I've attended in the past have all been in the month of October because I've had a few suicide attempts and my first attempt was in October. It was October 8th when I was 14. So it was exactly 10 years ago this month. And um, yeah, it's just such beautiful timing that I'm able to attend a walk today, this month, to celebrate like 10 years of trying to survive not even just trying to survive but trying to thrive i think i'll try to get just a few clips at the walk of maybe some nature and of myself i just want to respect people's privacy almost four o'clock I just got back in my car and I'm going to head to a coffee shop just to like hang out for a little bit because I was looking up AA meetings in the area and there's one at 5 30 so I figured I'll just swing by this was my first time doing one of these walks by myself I usually go with my parents um but they're in Florida and I'm not I'll probably end up finishing this video tomorrow because by the time I get home it's gonna be dark so i see you tomorrow i'm gonna finish this video now um i am 99 percent sure i already put a trigger warning at the beginning of this video but i'm just doing another trigger warning because it's about to get a little bit more deep trust me i know there's plenty of people out there that might intentionally want to be triggered I i've done that before in the past with suicide and with other things that i've abused so even though i just verbally said that this is my trigger warning i'm gonna try to make this as as least triggering as possible i've been really open about god everything that i've struggled with in my life on social media for the sole purpose of trying to help one person and that's why i continue to talk about these things and make videos and why i continue to be vulnerable basically this month october is my 10 year anniversary from the first time that i attempted suicide i did have a second suicide attempt that following february uh so i'm not 10 years clean from suicide in itself but this was my 10 year anniversary from that first attempt i didn't want to come on here giving people advice because i'm not a professional on this topic it's not really my place to give advice just want to reflect on my life um at least the last 10 years of my life 
I made a list of things that I would have missed in the last 10 years had my first attempt to work. I guess I just want to share what's on this list because some of them are really, really simple things and some of them are a bit more catered to my personality and you know more unique to, to me that my, that everybody else might not experience if i was 14 years old and i saw this list and i saw some of the things that i was gonna do i don't know for sure if it would have changed my mind like if i'm being completely honest i don't know if this list would have saved me or helped me i really don't know but i like to think that it would have maybe gotten me through one more day and if I got through that day that I made the attempt maybe I would have never made it to begin with I don't know but these are some things that I would have missed if my suicide attempt worked I would have never gone to a homecoming or a prom I would have never drove a car or have my own car I would have not ugh. I would have never gone to a party or smoked weed or had sex or gotten a tattoo I would have never had a job or moved out of my parents house or lived on my own i would have never fallen in love or had my heart broken i would have never started my own business i would have never seen my sister start school ever grace was five when i made this first attempt so she might have actually started kindergarten i can't remember but either way i would have never really seen her start school i would have never met my sister's first boyfriend and not even just meeting him I would have never got to see the excitement of my little sister like going through these next like chapters of her life she's 15 now she's the age that I was when I was I would have never seen my sister learn how to drive or try to help her teach her how to drive which was stressful I would have never traveled as much I did do a little bit of traveling um, with my grandparents when I was younger but when you're 11 12 13 years old with your grandparents it's a little bit different than when it's, it's extremely different than when you're an adult i would have never drove across the country five times <laughs> i would have never owned my own pet i would have never started a youtube channel or any social media which isn't that big of a deal but i love being able to somewhat reach other people when it comes to these topics in particular. I would have never pursued my passions that led to jobs. Um, you guys know I started off this channel doing makeup. I did end up becoming a freelance makeup artist. My whole YouTube channel was makeup and I would have never even explored the world of makeup because I wasn't even allowed to wear makeup. I think that was the first year that my mom let, let me start wearing it. So I didn't even know what I was capable of or how much like I would fall in love with it. Makeup was very ther therapeutic for me. And then my next passion, which is running my business, painting, making jewelry, designing clothing, all of this shit, I would have never had the opportunity to pursue these things. I would have never seen a waterfall. I would have never seen a lake. I would have never seen snow. I would have never experienced fall. I would have never gone off-roading or slacklining or skydiving or hang gliding. And I would have never done mushrooms, learned about mushrooms, ran a business based off of like mushroom art. Like I said, these are just a few things. I can't even imagine what is not on there that I've gotten to do. The craziest thing to me though is when I was 14 and 15 years old, not trying to invalidate myself at all because being a teenager is extremely difficult. Being a human is extremely difficult. Like trying to survive, trying to figure out life. I don't know if it ever really gets easier, but I think for me at least, it gets a little bit more enjoyable or that it has gotten more enjoyable. I still feel depressed, not every single day like I used to, um, it comes and goes, it's balance, it's ups and downs. I just want to be real about that because I don't want somebody to see this video and think, well, no wonder why she's not suicidal anymore. She's living alone in the mountains or she makes art every day. Like she doesn't have to deal with real life shit. I still deal with real life shit. Um, I think I was starting to say I was so young when I experienced this and when I felt this way. Suicide affects all ages, um, but right now I'm thinking about like teenage Lizzie or I'm thinking mostly about teenagers. 
because even though I was extremely depressed, I hated myself, I was extremely insecure, whatever, 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 I was still developing. I'm still developing. I'm only 24. To think that the only way out was to die, I didn't even really want to die. I just didn't want to be in pain. And I think a lot of people say that. A lot of people that have attempted suicide or that have suicidal thoughts. I just think that people don't want to be in pain anymore. I just didn't know what all life had to offer because I was only 14. I didn't know that one day I was going to be able to do whatever the fuck I wanted to do. So fast forward a few years, I turn 18. This is why I have the number 18 tattooed on my finger. That was the first time ever in my life. Well, I mean, I was only 18, so like how much time before that did I have the opportunity to have this realization? Um, anyways, it was the first time ever that I realized that self selfishness is not necessarily a bad thing. And to me, selfishness or like positive selfishness, healthy selfishness looks like treating yourself with love, saying no to things that you don't want to do or try or, or go to or whatever. Say no. Honoring yourself and just doing what you want to do doing whatever the fuck you want to do i say that i have that little saying like throughout some of my art because back when i was 18 i realized in order for me to survive this i just had to be happy how would i become happy i thought to be happy i had to do whatever i wanted to do so long as it was healthy you know i didn't stick to that consistently like i said i've had moments in the last 10 years that i've had really bad coping methods to deal with depressive moments that i've gone through but more consistently than not from the time i was 18 up until now 24 i have put endless effort into finding joy every day i find something good every single day even on the worst fucking days because i have to I'm kind of hoping that maybe if somebody is feeling down or in a negative headspace or maybe feeling suicidal, I'm hoping that by sharing my list, I can somehow remind people that there's so many amazing experiences in small, memorable moments that have yet to come. And as heavy and defeating and depressing as it might be sometimes, like I said, earlier it is balanced it's inevitable to reach peaks and lows i also have learned that when i'm at my peak it might last for a few days a few weeks a few months a few years but it's always 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 gonna get better and i know people say that shit all the time but it really has no other option but to get better because it nothing can last forever so just as the bad times eventually get back to being neutral the good times eventually get back to being neutral and um one thing that i've learned and have practiced is just the law of detachment to emotions to things i've had so many best days i'm excited not only for that amazing next best day but i'm excited for the little amazing moments in between and i'm also excited for the challenging moments because they remind me that i'm human when i was so depressed and suicidal i literally was numb for years like when i say numb i couldn't cry anymore like the thought i used to tell myself like what would you do if like grace died my little sister or how would you feel if your mom died or your dad died like how would you feel if anybody died and back then, I don't think I would have been able to produce emotion. At least, even with the horrible days that are to come, because they will come, at least I'll feel them. I don't even, I don't know if any of this makes sense. Um, I mostly just wanted to film this video, one, to spread awareness on the topic of suicide, two, to let people know that they're not alone, obviously. Um, and three, I don't know, I, I don't know if my experience in sharing this can give somebody else hope, but maybe it can. I'm in the middle of editing this, editing this video, and before posting it, I wanted to share it with my mom just to get her opinion on it. I asked her if she thought there was anything I should add to the video. She thought that I should just make it a little bit more clear what's gotten me to this point. 
of not being suicidal anymore. Like I said, my, this video isn't meant to be advice. This is simply what I've done. I talked about my happiness being my priority, doing whatever I want, stuff like that. I feel like saying that I'm doing whatever I want is kind of broad, but to me that means pursuing a career or a job choice that I enjoy going to. If I have to work for so long, I want to do something I love. I know not everybody has the option to run a business based off of their passions, but when I first started running my art business, I was doing like two or three other little side jobs just to make enough money to pay my bills, but ultimately so I could pursue my passion. Happiness to me also includes surrounding myself with people who love me, people who support me, who inspire me, who build me up. I don't waste my time anymore with people who just drain my energy. Um, happiness to me also means, I, I mentioned like honoring, my, honoring yourself. So for me, that looks like taking care of my physical body, putting effort into being healthy and decorating myself in ways that make me feel beautiful and empowered. Um, it also means taking care of my mental health, uh, which looks like taking days off from work. If I really need to take a day off, I, I allow myself to because I realize the importance in making sure I'm okay. Um, mental health to me also means reading, learning, inquiring about ways to grow and be better as a person, maybe talking to a therapist. I haven't talked to a therapist in about nine or eight years, um, but I've been thinking about going to one again. There's plenty of other things that make me happy, but seeking out things that are just going to make my existence the most enjoyable that it possibly can be while I'm here is what makes me happy. To get through all of the tough moments that life has thrown at me, um, I realized that it's in my control to seek out happiness. I could be having the worst day possible um, or one of the worst days and I know that I have the option to find something that I enjoy, to talk to somebody I love, to do something for myself that makes me feel good. All of those things are in my power and so even on the worst days, I, it's still in my power to find an ounce of happiness. I still don't know if I'm making any sense, but I hope that I was able to like clear that up just a little bit. If you happen to be struggling with sadness, depression, suicidal thoughts, or absolutely anything, stress, anxiety, I just want you to know like I genuinely, truly am sending you love. Like this might sound weird, but I'm putting out love into the universe for you and for everyone else who's suffering because I know that pain and I don't care what you've done. I don't care if you have hurt somebody horribly. I don't care if you've hurt yourself horribly. You don't deserve to suffer. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>